So to begin your still life, you're going to go through a really basic process. The primary thing that you're going to try to do is to scale up and adjust your study to the new scale of your still life. You're going from 5 by 7 to 18 by 24. So there's going to be some necessary adjustment. And what you're going to do is pretty much stick to the two-dimensional design of it. You don't really want to worry at this stage too much about getting correct forms at first. That'll be the second stage. Um, what you want to do is, is make sure that your layout is correct and the objects are in place the way you want them. And that's going to mean that with this tone paper method that you're not going to be able to see the drawing incredibly well at first. Most likely what's going to happen is that as you draw it, you're going to be the only one that's going to be able to see this. So if you have, especially if you have a dark ground tone, if you have a, a ground tone that's very dark, it's going to be very hard to, to see. Now if you mess up, you don't use an eraser because an eraser essentially is drawing in light. What you're going to do is use your same uh, little piece of tissue paper, if you have it, and uh, just rub any graphite back into the ground tone. <coughs> you can see here that I'm being fairly careful um, noticing where everything goes, and I'm not sticking exactly to the plan uh, that I set out. I'm making some adjustments as I go, again, because... You know, you're, when you're working on a 5x7 image, a 16th of an inch kind of matters. It doesn't matter as much when you scale it up like this, but you're also going to slightly change the format if you haven't measured out the ratios perfectly. And scale is a huge part of artwork in general, and you want to take advantage and manipulate that sort of element as well. So what you want to make sure that you... Pay attention to all parts of the image that you go through the entire 18 by 24 surface and make sure that every square inch is taken care of.